Hi guys, welcome back to Martial Art Tutorials, Sergio Press. Today's video um, was or is going to be based on an injury that I had last week. Last week I was in a karate fight Tuesday and I threw a side kick. My friend tried to block me out but he wasn't fast enough. I hit on his way back. He hit me with the tip of the elbow right here. So I had to go to the emergency care because we thought that my foot was broken. It was swollen. I was incredible. I was in incredible pain. Despite having chin guards, the impact was so hard that I haven't been able to walk properly for a week now. Okay, the purpose of this video is including myself. I see many people showing videos of how to defend yourself in a self-defense scenario. But what about those people with disabilities? What about those people who can walk? Can walk? What about people who has a limp on the leg? What about um, if you're fighting and in the middle of the fight you got injured? How will you deal with that situation? The first tip I gotta show you, if you get injured, in my case, this leg, I will put the leg on the back to avoid few shots damage okay, to avoid future problems to that leg. So now I know that every strike I throw has to be with my hands because I lost one of my supports. So if I lift this leg, I'm gonna have an incredible pain on that leg. If I use this leg, I will still, I won't be able to because of the pain. So first scenario, if you have a wall, lean against a wall. Another good thing that you have is that you may have multiple attackers. Now you force them to be all in the middle of you. I mean, in the front of you. Now they cannot um, give you the turn around and get your back. So now, let's say first tip: you have a solid base because you are supporting yourself with a wall, a, a wall, a fence, or whatever. So you can use your fist for the long range. In this case, I will advise you to fight as dirty as possible using. I gouging techniques instead of throwing a jab, you might throw a jab, I gouge into the eye. So you have more reach with an out gouging than with a regular jab or cross. So punches to the neck, punches to the groin area, like palm strikes here, and then run as fast as possible. Grab the hair, palm strikes, don't fight clean. If you have something close to you, Throw it to your opponent. Use anything that you have in your advantage. But remember, first tip, the leg on the back. Use the distance. So if it's close to you, use the hands. If you even get closer to you, use the different elbow strikes that I have told you in this channel. But be careful of the mobility because in my case, I can barely move. So I can use my knee, but I can't either bend my neck or walk as much as I want or I can't run. So you have to make sure that every strike counts. So that's my tip for today. Subscribe to the channel and let me know how will you deal in a fight with an injury this type. Thank you very much. Take care and subscribe. Now I'm